What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad Movie Review. Today we're on to continuing the Chucky series as we're going to be talking about Bride of Chucky from 1998. This is a very special one because this is one of those entries in the franchise that's just an absolute freaking blast. So today we're going to talk about my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So before we get down to the Bride of Chucky review, I wanted to let you all know for sure, definitely Monday, you gotta say, gotta stop by the channel. It is Monday today, but stop by the channel for sure. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be having a live stream again. I wanna plug that live stream, get as much uh, buzz going. Angel from the Voices from Mausoleum podcast has agreed to join me and we're going to be discussing some of our favorite found footage films and found footage horror and all that kind of stuff. So be sure to come by, drop your comments and hang out with us tonight. Yes, Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. So yeah, be sure to be there. It's going to be an exciting, gory, fun time. So Bride of Chucky from 1998. This film is directed by Ronnie Yu. In fact, this is actually the film that got him the Freddy vs. Jason job. Pretty much like people seeing him in the production company, people seeing what he did with this film. They're like, oh yeah, we want the Ronnie Yu style with Freddy vs. Jason. And this one, like I said, being it that it came out in 98, it has that kind of weird feel where it feels like it's still 90s but also like it's a little bit of the early 2000s, especially we have like a Rob Zombie music like intro song that happens once we see uh, Jennifer Tilly's character, which that's one major positive with Bride of Chucky is that this is the introduction of Jennifer Tilly's character, Tiffany, who is just an absolute freaking icon in this franchise. That's probably one key positive. One major positive with this film definitely is Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany. She's just like perfect for the role and she cements herself as like you know being a staple of this franchise just with this first film in her first appearance she's fantastic and her like you know her rapport with Brad Dourif's character and the Chucky doll it's all there so I really love the vibe that she brings to this film she adds like a whole nother layer and it's freaking awesome also the kills in this one are just a ton of fun like, you know, John Ritter's kill is epic, you know, when it comes to, like, the pinhead thing, and then he even comes back to life later, and they have to kill him again, so it's just, yeah, there's some wild kills in here, a lot of people recall the, like, Valentine's Day uh, bedroom scene, and then they have the mirror above the bedroom, and the champagne bottle just going up in the air, you know, so yeah, there's a lot of fun awesome bombastic kills in this film to enjoy. Another thing is I love the new look of Brad Dorff's character, the Chucky. I like pretty much all the crazy Chucky designs they end up coming up with. When he's damaged, like when half his face is cut off or he's melting or like I said, he's stitched back together. Like Chucky has so many different looks and different faces and I like that aspect of the film and this one like for real Brad Dourif has like kind of this new flavor this new style some of my favorite one-liners are also in this film like the who the fuck is Martha Stewart like that's one of my favorite lines for real and the setup to that line is great too when Tiffany sets him up for it and then he's like oh who the fuck is Martha Stewart like just fantastic for real so a lot of great one-liners are in this film as well just like Child's Play 3 I think Bride of Chucky and Child's Play 3 those are kind of like the two films I think where it's at where you get the best like just iconic one-liners that just make you laugh your ass off we also have a pretty awesome cast here we you know we got Ritter we got Katherine Heigl we got freaking you know Jennifer Tilly Brad Dorff back we got Nick Stable I believe is the guy who plays the the nice guy who's with Katherine Heigl's character so yeah there's a lot of fantastic different cast members all across the board in this film and man like the especially like the scenes and the way they take place and especially like Jennifer Tilly when she's dealing with the guy that she's kind of fooling around with a little bit or is like wants to be her boyfriend wants to be there for her and then has that scene where she sits Chucky on his lap while he's on the bed and she's dancing for him and oh man just that death alone is hilarious like I laugh my ass off and then we get to uh, Chucky when he kills Jennifer Tilly's character in the hot tub just fantastic and she's watching Bride of Frankenstein like it has this cool you know 60s 70s vibe to it so yeah this film it's it's a love letter it really is a love letter to old horror films too because we have you know Jason references Freddy Krueger references so yeah this one is a very fun 
film, especially if you're a horror fanatic. And this film is just fun. That's probably my main word to describe this film is I think this is the one that's the most fun in the entire franchise. The hour and 40 minute runtime, it just breezes by. Like every time I watch this film, it feels like it's only like an hour long kind of thing because you're having so much fun and it just keeps rolling and rolling. You know what I mean? At no point am I like bored with this film or anything like that. Let's get into some of the mixed and negatives. And one key thing really we got to bring it up right here is that this this one again, Don Mancini playing with the rules of the franchise in terms of having like an amulet and introducing that into this film and then being able to switch bodies and then get the bodies from grown-ups now that they didn't reveal themselves to as the dolls. Like there's just all kinds of weird things in this one. So yeah, for, for another one, this is like I said, Child's Play 3 and Bride of Chucky are kind of the really beginning of Don Mancini playing with all the rules that they kind of set up in Child's Play 1 and 2 that make it more grounded and more realistic. And I know it's all far-fetched anyway. It's a horror film. It's still fiction and all that, but the first two films are a lot more grounded. And then, like I said, once we get into Bride of Chucky, we're going into more fantastical, kind of supernatural type territory. I also think there's some weird moments in here, like, you know, our doll kind of, you know, our doll sex scene is kind of interesting. It's kind of weird, you know what I mean? It's not the greatest moment. Like I said, it's, it's just a moment that I don't really laugh at, and it doesn't add anything to the film, you know what I mean? And for it being a film that prides itself on being comedy heavy, it's gory, it's gruesome, but it's also, like I said, a nice little homage to a lot of horror films. That scene for me just doesn't really do anything for me, and it sets up, you know, the sequel. That's about it. About all that scene does is it sets up the third act and the sequel that we end up having after this film, which I'm not a big fan of. So maybe that's another reason why that moment doesn't hit right for me, that I feel like, oh, I can take this out of the film and I would enjoy it just as much as I do, you know, now. Another negative is I think there's cinematography and editing. I don't think it's really that spectacular in this one. You know what I mean? I think it's kind of bare bones. Like, I think Ronnie Yu was actually the wrong director for this film. I love this film, and I like this movie, but I think Ronnie Yu was just not the right choice. Like, I kind of feel like he's, he's an interesting director. He's really weird because he's got this Hong Kong fight background. But he's into horror films and he talks about horror movies, but he's mainly somebody who read comics because he didn't have a television when he was younger. So it's like he's got all these influences and all this different flair. And I feel like sometimes when Ronnie Yu comes to his movies, he pulls from too much. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. He's like, oh, I want to put some of this in there. I want to throw this in there. And then, oh, oh, I saw this one comic or this one movie one time. You know, he's kind of like that aspect that I feel like. Sometimes he has to be, you know, you have to reel him in and be like, all right, focus a little bit, Ronnie. Let's let's focus on our goal and not like just having including all these different styles that you want to do. But overall, in my book, I still have a freaking fun time with Bride of Chucky. Like I said, in terms of the franchise, this isn't my favorite or the one I think is the best in the franchise. But I easily think this is the most fun in the franchise. Like if I was to say, oh, you're getting drunk, hanging out with your buddies or, you know, it's just a party night. A lot of your friends and you want to sit down and laugh and watch some cool horror films that's just like great horror comedy, Bride of Chucky is probably the one that I would recommend from this franchise because like I said, it's just that 90s style with that early 2000s, you know, rock, new metal type feel to it, you know, Brad Dorf back, Jennifer Tilly bringing the flair, some awesome kills and a great cast around it. So yeah, this film, like I said, it really does scream fun and is the most exciting one in the franchise I think and in terms of a rating for me in my book Bride of Chucky is going to get an 8 out of 10. This is a very solid film, very uh, one that I highly recommend and I love returning to every time I return to it. That nostalgia grows a little bit more and a little bit more because you repeat the lines and you know all the lines and you know the scenes and it's just returning to it. It's just like a wholesome little fun moment. So yeah, Bride of Chucky sits very comfortable at this 8 out of 10 rating, but that's just my thoughts and my opinions on Bride of Chucky. That means I would love to hear from you down below in the comments. Share your feelings on this movie so we can discuss, but also like the video. That definitely helps out, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video, but most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.